I wanted you to show you work so you could compare it to mine, but if you didn't, that's okay. Okay, well, if I have the square root of 2 divided by the square root of 8, all right, one thing I can do, if I want to rationalize the denominator, ladies and gentlemen, what I can do is simply you multiply by the square root of 8. So whatever your denominator is, whatever that square root is, you just multiply that on the top and bottom. Right? Because the reason being is we have to get this to the square root of 8 squared. So the, only, yeah, the only reason why I can multiply this, the only reason why I can multiply the square root of 8 times square root because they're both the square root of 8. So I can, since they're both under square root, so I can multiply them. Yes? So the answer is going to be 1? Well, let's go and take a look. So now, sure. So I have the square root of 2 times square root of 8. It's square root of 16 over 8. Yes? I'm sorry. Let's rewrite it like this. Hold on, so that becomes the square root of 8 squared. Yes? Now, do I know? I'm multiplying them. I'm writing them squared because remember, what's the square root of something squared? Your square root of 8 squared is just 8. So you have 8 over, and then what's the square root of 16? 4, which that reduces down to 1 half. I don't understand why you didn't view both as square root of 8 to squared instead of we just want to make sure our denominator is going to be of a square root. As long as our denominator does not have a square root, we have it as a more simplified answer. Okay? We don't need to get rid of both of them. 